What's going on? Another episode of Kyle TV, and in this episode, we'll be talking about IOTA because it's literally exploding right now. We're at 45% in the last 24 hours. We're going to be covering the real world uses of IOTA, why, where its intrinsic value lies, and we'll go ahead and dive right in. So, you know, if we go to their website, the main, um, basically, the main use for IOTA is going to be obviously the Internet of Things, hence its name, IOTA. So basically, it's going to take, you know, it's going to be a business to business use where, you know, smaller, um, you know, networks of basically machines and computers and things like that will solve real world problems in real time. Um, hence, if you look at this, um, you know, basically this example where, you know, you can purchase data storage or you know this grocery store um, needs more cooling and it can purchase um, via automation or you know business to business solutions so if you need you know energy from this area or data storage from an area potentially you could have business to business solutions trading iota amongst each other which is basically designed to be somewhat of a currency so we'll just click on this um, basically, it's a fancy word, you know, fancy way of uh, machines paying each other or infrastructure paying each other, um, business to business. So why it's taken off is, you know, obviously Microsoft and Fujitsu um, has partnered with IOTA. Um, both have, you know, many use cases. Obviously, Fujitsu Global, you know, some of their po portfolio consists of Internet of Things. They have cloud networks they have you know obviously um, smaller machines so this could effectively um, you know change the way you do we do business and there could be even further use case of you know iota in different things as far as you know if you, we look at microsoft they have gaming consoles and com, you know software and computers where you know you could execute different types of you know um, things where you could even integrate it into gaming. Um, so there, I mean, this could be endless because you know even with IOTA, there's going to be smart contracts um, integrated in with the Tangle. It's not even on a blockchain. Um, you know, basically this is a directed acrylic graph showing you what a Tangle um, is. So they call it the Tangle for short, but because it looks like a Tangle, obviously, but it's a directed acrylic graph. So instead of, you know, an old-fashioned basically coding where you had, you know, you would go based off number one and then you would work off of that and create number two um, and, you know, have that version and so on. Well, instead of a linear path, you're going to have, you know, whereas, you know, basically as we keep scrolling down, how you can have multiple paths, um, which is still sort of like a line, but as... You get further down, further you get more of a directed, you know, the DAG, the DAG. You start to get more of a that shape, so um, which is not traditional, but it's somewhat still of a line, and that's basically it in a nutshell. I'll let you. I'll probably provide a link below so you can read this, which is by EricSync.com. Um, but that's where the intrinsic value comes in, not only from that, but the the DAG itself, um, where. You know, there's going to be zero fees because it's lightweight, and unlike a blockchain, you know, it's going to be able to solve. Um, it's going to be be able to solve real world world issues um, on a you know on basically you know a small scale. So it can actually even potentially you know complement the blockchain, as it says here on the website. Um, See if we can scroll down and, and it'll actually show you, you know, even sensors and things like that. It'll actually store information um, and things like that. And it's supposed to be, you know, smart energy grid and lower cost and everything like that. So um, let's see here. This is just showing you the different layers and protocol um, of what it's going to look like. Um, the main innovation behind IOTA is the tangle. It says a blockless distributed ledger. So there's no blocks, it's just a tangle. Um, whereas blocks, it's like a linear path, basically. Um, scalable lightweight for the first time ever makes it possible to transfer value without any fees. So there you have it right there. 
um, you know, you don't have you don't have miners basically. It's just um, people who run the network and the nodes. You know, if say if I wanted to send a payment with IOTA, I would need to solve two problems um, before I sent that payment. So it's kind of like a self-settling network, whereas a blockchain, you have you know some serious miners and computation um, going into that, whereas you know this will not. So um, that's why it's more lightweight, and you know for business to business, this could solve real-world issues um, with light speed, you know, with faster transaction times and no trans, no fees at all. So it's kind of like a, this revolutionary idea. Um, it's still very brand new, and they're still working on it and developing it um, and increasing, you know, the cryptography. It, you know, already, you know, according to the white paper, it's quantum resistant. Um, you know, due in nature to you know the way it's made on the DA, the DAG and the curl and the hashing and all that stuff like that. Um, it gets a little bit techy, but you can obviously go to iota.org and learn more about it. Um, you can read their white paper and sign up for their newsletter. Their Slack channel it does not accept new people, but um, as you come down here, you know it's going to show you. You know you can actually go to um, I believe the chat, one of these resources, and it'll take you here to the Bitcoin coin forum and kind of show you the the actual tangle, what it looks like, and that's basically what you need to know as far as IOTA. That um, you know the tangle. It's kind of you know marketed as the third generation cryptocurrency due to its quantum resistant and lightweight features so that's kind of what you need to know in a nutshell you know the tech it gets really far into the tech you know the the DAG and everything like that um, but you know the far as the use cases go you'll need to know that you know businesses business transaction you know can conduct um, you know smart contracts and which are coming soon via the developer network or via the developer hub and you know you can purchase you know things that you need for your current infrastructure so it's basically infrastructure you know friendly obviously for these bigger companies you know like Microsoft and Fujitsu that you know have tons of infrastructure to run and we might even see this on a obviously a smaller scale where you know you would have like you know a drone basically you know paying for you know to go pick up your mail or whatever um, you know paying the you know USPS or whatever services like that paying IOTAs you know to you know go drop off your mail and things like that and vice versa where you know the energy grid you may be swapping your your refrigerator might be swapping IOTAs for energy power or what it, it needs. So it's going to be like a more smooth, um, efficient system. So that's IOTA in a nutshell. It's a little bit techy and nerdy, but these are some of the possible use cases as far as, in my opinion. So, um, you know, obviously I'm not a financial advisor, but, you know, this is definitely um, interesting cryptocurrency that has definitely skyrocketed. Um, now be aware that, you know, one IOTA, how they basically weighted it is basically one iota on, you know, it says 289. That's actually, one iota is actually like 1 million or um, like 1 million, I think, iota because there's such a big supply of it and they actually had to scale it down because it won't fit on here. So be aware of that. Make sure you, you um, research iota before you go out there and go buy some because I believe it's like 1 million iota is like 289. Um, you know, obviously they did that way, did it that way because you know, for these larger companies that are going to have huge infrastructures, in my opinion, are going to have you know have to have a lot of iota going on. You see these, it says mega iotas, you know, like six million mega iota, or basically one million um, iota is one mega iota, I believe. Anyways, you can do your research, but these are going to be some of the real world use cases where companies are going to be you know using this this um, IOTA um, as a part of their infrastructure and the more that they develop it that the more that we may see this you know go into um, actual real world use um, like this graph is showing here um, so that's all I got right there so, so it says here this Apple Watch buying two large Americanos I guess a small world use case um, you know processing power you have an internet gateway 
So these are some of the things that you may see in IOTA, just real world use cases, and obviously the internet of things. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close up this video. I'll see you at the blockchain and in the next video. Peace.